Welcome back, Northwest Fitting Center, and thank you for joining us for another of our cardio series. Today, we're going to be working at, uh, with our fifty by fifty, our five by fifty by by five cardio challenge. The goal is we're going to give you five different exercises. You're going to do each of them for fifty seconds at a, at a time, um, and we're going to do five sets of those. This is going to be about a 25, 26 minute workout. Again, our focus again, continuing to develop our our cardio, and so that really means that we need to have a sustained uh, challenge as we're going to go through. We will have some breaks throughout, so don't worry about that. Keep your water and towel nearby as we get into that. Before we get to that, though, I'm going to do a, run us through a quick warm-up. I'm going to demonstrate each of our five activities. And I'm going to give you a couple of different levels that you can challenge yourself with before we get into the main ones. So real quick, let's get right to it and start our warm-up. First thing we're going to do is just we're going to work with some butt kicks to kind of get the cardio um, system going. Ready? Begin. Start jogging in place, kind of get those butt, heels back and up. We're going to go for about a minute. Just want to keep moving, really get those feet high. Get those arms moving as you go as well. Keep it up, keep it up. We're going to go for about 30 more seconds. Keep going high. All the way up, all the way up. Doing great. 15 more seconds. And stop. Great work. All right. Next, what we're going to do is high knees. We're going to get our high knees. We want to really get it up to at least our waist height. When we get up to here, if you want, you can put your hands out in front and try to bring your knees to hit your hands. Or you can back, but really make sure that you're getting your legs up to at least 90 degrees as we go. All right, we'll start in five seconds. Ready? And begin. High knees. Those knees up, put those hands as a target. Make sure as you keep those hands up, you're not bringing the hands down. Hit your knees, put your knees up, hit those hands. And relax. Pick it up. We're gonna do a couple quick ones. Get some knee hugs in here. Stretch out a little bit. Bring your hand down. Grab your knees. Pull it up. Your chest. Hold. Balance. Release. Shake it out. Off the side. Bring up your left. Grab. Hold. Release. Slow. Control as you put it down. Shake it out. Right side. Your knee up, pull your knee to your chest, hold. Balance, release. Again, we're doing warm-ups. Most of these are just going to be dynamic. Quick stretching motions. Bring it up. Hold for two or three seconds. Release. And always controlled releases. We're not just letting it go limp. Bring your knees up. And release. Nice job. All right, we're gonna grab and reach. Right side, grab your right foot, hand, reach up. Hold, release. Bring that foot down nice and slow. Shake it out, switch sides. Up, hold, release, shake it out. Few more. Right side, grab, hold, stretch, really reach, and release. Slow and control as you put it down, kick it out. Opposite side. 
balance hold, stretch, release and put it down. Let's do three more. Grab, stretch, release. Other side, grab, stretch, and release. Last one. Grab, stretch. And you should feel it right here on the top of that leg as you're stretching. Hold that, breathe it through. And controlled release. Right, yeah. Let's do a couple of high kicks. Get some stretch on the back of the hamstrings. So we come out. Again, I like to put your hand out in front. You just have a target to go for, recognizing that, especially in the sport of fencing, we have a lot of asymmetry. So your right side and your left side may not have the same flexibility. That's okay. In fact, that's very normal. Uh, so really give yourself a reasonable target depending on the flexibility on your two sides. Right side. Maybe just a quick kick and release. Step back a few, step forward, switch sides. Right side, step back, and back forward. Left side, step back. Come forward. Keep in mind while we do this, we're really making sure that our leg stays completely straight. Try not to bend my knee at all. If you have a low flexibility, you may only be able to get up to there. Maybe waist tight while keeping that knee straight. That's okay. Go where you need to go to get that stretch. But we don't want to try to get really high. And we bring that knee up and keep it bent. So get as high as you can while keeping that front leg, that kicking leg completely straight as we do it. And step back, let's do another three. All right, side. Left side. And one more on the right side. For me as a, as a righty, I tend to lead with the right hand side first. Uh, you can mix up either way, lefty or righty, depending on which side you want to stretch a little bit more out. Just make sure you give yourself enough to really feel like you got good stretch, really going with ballistic stretches here for our warm-up routine. I'm gonna just do one more before we move into our into our cardio routine. Always a good one to do is just a little static, or a little bit of dynamic uh, good mornings. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm going to toe this line here. I'm going to keep my chest popped out. Shoulders really pulled back, right? Almost like I'm popping my chest out. My chin's up. Slight bend on the knees. And the bend at the waist. As I bend at the waist, I'm going to be facing forward. Again, toe the line. Chin up, head up, shoulders back. Bend at the waist, head up. Try to get close to 90 degrees. Really feel the back of my hamstrings here. And then I'm going to come back up nice and slow. Really want to be able to continue to do these slow, deliberate forward, hold. Two to three seconds before I come back up. And then back down. And back up. I'm not bending my knees, I'm bending at the waist. Keep my head up, my hand on my chest, shoulders back. Up again. Come on down. Up again. Switch positions. Keep it in view. Slight knees, shoulders back, chest up, head up, chin out. Should be looking forward the whole time. I'm not looking at the floor. Not rolling my shoulders down. Really pop that chest out. Lean forward, butt back. It's counterweight. You really feel it in the back of those hamstrings. Let's do three more. Head up, come back. Really breathe through these. Back up. Down, hold for three, 
two, and a one, back up. Last one, shoulders back. Big inhale, big exhale, and big inhale to come back up. And shake that out. All right, we're gonna do that one. We're gonna do a nice light warm up to get through that. If you feel you need to spend any more time on that, or you have any other pre existing injuries or conditions, you know your body well, please take the extra time to add any of those um, to your routine before you get started on the, main, on the main workout. I'm gonna walk you through the five exercises that we're going to be doing. I'm gonna give you some variations that you can use to challenge yourself. Uh, the goal again, as I go through all these is really that this should not be simply a once a week routine. The idea of this is to really improve your cardio. Doing a cardio routine, whether it's a run or a workout challenge is, is great in and by itself, but it's really not gonna get you any sustained uh, cardiovascular improvement if it's not something you're continually challenging your body to. Otherwise, it's a one-time challenge. Your body doesn't feel like it needs to rebuild and upgrade to uh, get better and more efficient at processing the oxygen and strengthening your muscles. So the more that you're doing these things on a regular basis, the more your body is gonna start deciding it really needs to adapt to the new challenges in its environment and cope with what's going on. So it's really important that we maintain this. Whenever we do a cardio challenge, something like this, now we're doing this as a supplement to our fencing. So it's really important that if you do this prior to fencing, really give yourself some time to recover. This would not be a good idea to do probably 30 minutes before your main practice where you're gonna get your bouting and training or private lessons in. Uh, that might really make sure that when you do those tra trainings, that's your primary focus. Uh, it could make it, you tired, less focused, and that can take away from some of your, your most important gains. This is an important part of it, but you really want to make sure that it's something you can do well out, you know, right after a training, after you have some time to recover, or prior to training with giving yourself many hours to recover and get your body to recoup a little bit, or you do it on off days. So really consider that when you are deciding how to add um, cardio training to your routine. So the first one we're gonna do is some jump uh, extensions. It's gonna look a lot like a jumping jack, traditional jumping jack. We're gonna start with our hands together. We're just gonna come out from here, hands up, feet out, hands down. We're gonna do a similar thing, but we're gonna have our elbows tucked to our side, and when we go out, we're gonna punch forward, and we're gonna come back in, we're gonna pull it out, back in. Then we're gonna switch arms, and back in. Arms out, out, in. So very much like a, a jumping jack, but instead of throwing the arms overhead, we're going to go with a little bit of a punch. You could still do your traditional jumping jack if you want to get a little bit more shoulder workout. Another good variation. Or you can do it from here. A little bit more fencing specific to do a lot of extension based actions. Another way that you can add a little challenge on these jump extensions, especially if you start doing this on a regular basis. Take a water bottle with you and be able to have that. Ideally, you can use this with two, or you can focus on the fencing side that you are it with, and you can be going from here and you can go out. You can use that weighted bottle, the way to give yourself a little bit more resistance on that side. You can do that with a water bottle, mason jar at home filled with water, give yourself some weight, try to balance it out on both sides. That can give you a little bit of extra uh, challenge to these workouts. And the other side of this is that you can just up the tempo. I'm gonna try to go with a pretty consistent, stable tempo throughout so that you can keep up. But if that's not a big enough challenge for you, feel free when you're following through on the video, to just up the tempo a little bit. It doesn't matter if you go a little bit faster than me. It also doesn't matter if you're going a little bit slower than I am. The key on a cardio workout is that you're really having a little bit of a hard time to breathe. If you have a little hard time to breathe and you're pushing through it, that's your way of telling your body you need to upgrade. And we really want to focus on having putting yourself at that line where you're just a little bit uncomfortable. Push yourself to always be a little bit uncomfortable. If you're maintaining this for a couple minutes and you feel totally fine, you're not challenging yourself. So really it's on you to make sure you're challenging your body. So listen to your body and really push that, that limit where you're just getting a little bit uncomfortable medium uncomfortable so that you're really getting to that point where you're really challenging your body's ability to process oxygen and upgrade your body muscle mass and cardiovascular systems. All right, so we just did our jump extensions. Next thing we're gonna be doing is just some hot feet 
our finger pattern back and forth. Drumming, right? We're gonna go, and there's a 10 count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna go from that from bounce side to side. Just bounce. In fencing, we do a lot of different small feet or bouncing style footworks. And so it's good to mix it up. Sometimes you do this and you still change to the other. So you want to be able to have a good balance between being able to maintain movement with kind of these micro bounces where you're using your feet or maintaining consistent spacing and you're really working on the ankles. And you see as I'm moving, the difference between my two feet are not much difference. Watching the high level World Cup video, you're gonna see a lot of the same. Or you're gonna see a lot of small feet and it's very much the same thing. The difference between where their front and back foot are is negligibly different at any given time. So we're gonna switch between 10 hop feet and, and 10 hops. Again, you can always vary the speed. You could be doing one, two, three, you can pick up speed on these or you can get a little wider because that's gonna also challenge you on what, what your part of your body you're gonna put a little more focus on. So various speeds or very the depth and spacing between your feet to raise and lower the challenge level for you. Next one we're gonna do is just some shadow footwork. After that one, we're gonna be moving in here, facing the camera and really focusing on just some very light footwork. By facing forward, a lot of this is being able to, in the beginning, just move in and out. I really want to complete each step. If I don't complete the step, it's because I'm using a check step style mo movement. And I want to avoid tap, place back, unless it's very deliberate. Really focus on that. And the other part of these footwork movements, again, it's a cardio challenge. We don't want to have a whole lot of pauses. Even when I make a step here, I want you to notice that my body is still in motion. Even though I slowed down, my foot is not moving forward, but my body still very much is in motion. While we do this kind of shadow footwork style, when I do these stops, I want to quickly come back to motion. Or I'm staying smooth and fluid, even adding a little bit of body language in with that side. So be creative, but focus on the different ways you can vary that forward. Vary the steps, vary the size, small, long, medium. Add variety by adding check steps, half steps at sync, little hops in and out. Mindful of really being deliberate with your placement and trying to be very fluid throughout. So, when you do that shadow fencing, kind of really imagine I'm pulling in front of you, but try to think about some of those ways that you can add some tactical movement, but continuous flow. All right, after we get through our four, we're gonna come down. This is where it's great to have a carpet area, a mat, or simply a towel to sit down on for what we're gonna do. The next two are gonna be in a down position. The first one is going to be bicycles. We're gonna have our hands behind our head. Our feet are gonna come up to 90 degrees. And we're gonna to try to really just continue a bicycle pedaling motion. I'm gonna have my head back, head and looking up. Now, variation, obviously I can just speed it up, or I can really try to make this a very long extension where I bring that knee really far back, really almost full extension on those bicycles, or I can kind of just keep it in that middle ground where I'm just constantly churning around and around. I'm gonna really keep it up. I wanna make sure I'm really keeping my feet up in the air Challenging on my bicycles as I go up. All right, after we go there, we're gonna stay in our prone position on the mat. We're gonna do leg up crunches. So we're gonna go from our bicycles. We're gonna have a five second break to get in position. I'm gonna keep my knees and my ankles at the same height. In the beginning, I'm just gonna work for the 50 seconds and I'm just gonna come up. My elbows are gonna come to my knees. I'm gonna hold before I come down. On all the variations, I'm gonna come up, hold, before I come down. Really want you to activate that core, clench those abdominals, hold for a second, and then come back down. Additionally, I don't want you to hold and just slam yourself back to the mat. I want you to come up controlled, I want you to hold, and I want you to return slowly back to that mat. You can bring your elbows back, 
wide, and then come back forward, touch, hold, slowly come back down, back up, and hold. That's gonna be our basic version. Level two, if you wanna give yourself a more of a challenge, we're gonna come up, and on each one I'm gonna cross, right to elbow, to left knee, hold, back down, left elbow to right knee, hold, come back down, and then both up, hold, and both down. That's gonna be our second level. If you really wanna push yourself again, third level, again, knees and ankles, always stay up. I'm gonna keep that up the whole time. Now I'm gonna go cross, hold, stay up, cross, hold, hold, and then back down. You can do any combination on that, where you could just come up right, hold, left, hold, come back down, or you could do the three in a row. Right, left, center, and then return. Okay? Again, a lot of the goals in these is that I don't expect you on your first time through to take it to the highest level of tempo or um, challenge level. But the more you do this on a regular basis, the stronger you're gonna get, the better your cardio is gonna be, and you might get to the point where you get to these uh, crunches, and it's not really much of a challenge just coming up and holding. So that's why you wanna be able to say, this isn't hard for me anymore. That's great, that's exactly what you're looking for. That means you're improving, and these workouts are really paying off for you. So that's when you have to continue to find the next level to push yourself to. This whole thing is a process to get you stronger and more fit. So when you start feeling that, give yourself a pat on the back, but don't, don't get, get lazy. Don't settle for what you have. Always push for a little bit more and keep in mind the different variations that we have. All right, so now you know the five exercises that we're gonna be doing. Remember, we're gonna go through from one to five. At the end of five, we're gonna get a 50 second break. So that's where we're gonna have our chance to get a drink of water, towel off if you need to. Again, we're not gonna just lay down and wait. We're gonna stay in motion. We're gonna be moving around, breathing, taking deep breaths, trying to recover before our next set. We're gonna do five sets of this. So it's gonna be 26 minutes of activity. So I want you to make sure you have that bottle ready and um, you're ready to rock and roll. The other thing is you may find that if you know you're someone who tends to cramp, uh, bring something. One of the easiest ways that you might have at home to relieve a cramp is pickles and pickle juice. Pickle juice is a great way to be able to do that. Um, other ways you might be able to relieve a cramp in a hurry, uh, vinegar or uh, mustard and mustard packets are the common things you might see at a competition venue that are easy to come by, but uh, pickles are often an easy one to use um, to get yourself to relieve a cramp quickly. All right, on your feet, I'm gonna go ahead and set up our Tabata timer with our setup. Again, we're gonna give ourselves 10 seconds to initially set up. We're doing 50 seconds of work on each one. We're gonna get five seconds to move from one exercise to the next. Five cycles, five sets, and we're gonna get a 50 second rest between them, and then we'll cool down at the end. All right, here we go. Remember our first one, we got jump extensions. All right, so I got our jumping jacks. What we're gonna do with that extension, just really punch that arm forward. Three through it. Again, the most important thing, establishing a controllable rhythm, is you gotta be able to maintain it for 26 minutes. Top feet and side to sides. Ready? Top feet, side to side. Top feet. Side to side. Top feet. Find that rhythm, find that rhythm. 
side to side. Keep the feet really just ankle moving here. High feet. High feet, high feet, high feet. Pick it up. Got the jumps. All right, relax. Come forward, remember, we're going to shout forward, try to add some variety. Remember, we're moving, really focusing on mixing up the rhythm a little, but key here, never stop. Flow, move, very deliberate. You can add a lunge. Make sure afterwards, though, you're not staying there very long, you recover, and you maintain that balance. So you come back and continue moving. Breathe. All right, we're down to the mat with our bicycles. All right, remember, our knees are up and our ankles go up and around. So keep pedaling, keep pedaling, keep pedaling. I right, get that nice big circle. Reach up with those. Doing great. Keep paddling. Always reaching above the knee height when you go up. All right, come over next. Do our crunches. We're gonna hold. We turn slow. Come up and hold. Turn back down slow. We're gonna always keep those ankles above our knees. Hold. We turn slow. Hold. We turn slow. Hold. And repeat. You may get tired, you may find your feet again, yep, and you gotta bring them back up. Keep them up. You're gonna feel a little burning in your hip flexors. That's a good thing. You're pushing your body. Grab it up, hold. All right, on your feet. All right, this is our first set. We have a 50 second break. This is where we have that bottle of water in your body. You grab a drink. We're not gonna stop. Keep moving, have a drink, lift up those shoulders. Shake it out. It'll be a time to recover, make deep breaths. Shake it out, stay loose. 10 more seconds. All right, we're going to go right into our jump extension at the end of this rest. So be ready to go. You ready? We're really just trying to pop on those extensions. It's not just that I'm extending, it's that I'm shooting. Shoot, shoot. Keep it up. Push yourself, doing good. Hot feet and bounces. Ready? Switch. 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 
Touch. 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 All right, come back to your guard position, get ready for your shadow footwork, add the variety. Stay in motion, constantly moving in and out. Try to add those check steps, maybe a half step slow, advances forward, slide jump, lunge, quick recovery, maintain balance, good posture, shoulders back, Sit down and your leg, really flex, stay in motion. Then we're gonna change your rhythm, add some speed, and then constant and deliberate slowdowns. But through all, you're continuing to move. All right, get back on our mat, ready for our bicycles. All right, bicycle around, kick high. Remember, find the rhythm you can keep going at. Kick high, kick high, stay up. On the end of that kick, you go over your height of your knees. Doing great, keep it up. Push yourself, keep breathing. All right, switch it over. We're doing our crunches now. Remember to add the hold. Come up and hold. Remember, this is a challenge. Cross, hold. Cross, hold. Center, hold. Or one, two, return, or. One, two, three, return. Keep it up. Choose a level that you feel comfortable with, and most importantly, that you can maintain. If one gets too easy, you know what to do. Level it up, push yourself. And good. Hold on your feet. Come in. We're not going to sit down. We're not going to wait around. Grab your towel. Wipe yourself off. Stay in motion. We're slowing and get up. Maybe a little bit lightheaded after all that workout. Grab your water. Have a drink. Once you're done with this workout, Whatever you have left, finish that you want to do at least 16 ounces after workout. Probably another 32 ounces before the end of the day. You really need to have a lot of fluid in your system to flush it out, get rid of the waste, make room for the new buildup you're hoping your body is going to create. All right, get right back to our jump extensions. Exhale on those punches. Keep going. Almost there. Hot feet, side to side, ready?
Clutch. All right, we're gonna keep it from the ankles. We're gonna stay constant distance away from each other. Clutch. Switch. Remember, up the tempo. I'm really pushing you. Last one. Five seconds, switch over. On that position. Take your shots over. Continuous motion. You get those lunges out. Really make sure you get a full big wings. Use that back arm with the counterbalance. Try to go from wide to narrow. Remove that target as you do. Come back, get the upper body loose, but those legs constantly flowing, moving. And back to the neck in our bicycle position. Beat up. Kick it. Didn't know you could go for a bicycle go right inside, could you? Keep it up, keep it up. How are you thinking? The better your workout. You get good extensions on them if you can. But most importantly, continuous. No stops, no stops. Push yourself. All right, set it up for your crunches. Hold, slow, return. Hold, slow, return. Cross. Remember, keep those ankles at least 90 degrees up above those knees. Knee height or slightly above. Yourself. All right, back on your feet, nice and slow. Grab a drink you need it. And shake out those legs a little bit. Good deep breath. Doing good. Well, we're halfway through now. Two sets to go, and a little cool down. Remember, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, try to get this at least three days a week, if not more. Try to space them out. Remember, we also have videos on footwork, stretching, home drilling. Mix those into your routine as well. Try to find a good balance and mix up the different cardio routines that we have. Ready? Back to our punches. Remember, it's our fourth set. Two to go. Need it over halfway. Stick it down. Good breathing, keep it up. Half 
Hot feet. Jump side to side. Ready? And switch. 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 Push it, push it, push it, push it. And I'm all the way to the end. Shuffle up. These last two now, we should have a pretty good routine. Let's try to really pick up the tempo just a little bit. We still may vary, but let's focus on to get that third period. We need to make a comeback. We need to grind that one down. We have better cardio than they do. We work harder than they do. We need to keep mixed up moving. We'll force them to get into a bad position and be able to capitalize on that moment. Control, deliver it. Keep the tempo up. Push it, push it. All right, down in a bicycle position. Kicking, beat up, beat up. Not sit with them, never slow down. Find the pace that you can maintain. Keep it up. We're in together. Let's go, let's go. If you're tired, you're doing it right. Let's go. Push it up. Crunches, feet up, hold, return, hold, return, hold, return slow, on your own now, crawl, slow and hold, deliberate, feet up. Or I'm going to my knees, my knees are not coming to me. All right, on feet. All right, we got one more to go. This is, this is hard, and you're right. You're not gasping for air, you're cheating yourself, and you're building to improve your body. So pick up the pace a little bit, add some of those variations. Keep moving, grab a drink, towel off if you need to. All right, so our last set, so we're gonna push ourselves hard this one. We're gonna have nothing to, nothing to lose, empty the tank. Jump extensions, ready, high tempo.
Ja. Ach, die Zeit ist ready? Push here, guys. Almost done. Less than two minutes. Let's go. We've come this far. Don't slow down. This is, this is the end. Why at the end of the tunnel? Push for it. Go for it hard. Nothing comes easy. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, last set of crunches, really hold. Feel the burn. Pull. Pull. Switch. Switch. Come down. Move it. Don't stop. Nicely done. All right. Get nice and slow. Well done, you made it through it. All right, we're gonna do a little quick cool down. Big chest. Stay moving, shake it back out. Deep breaths, deep breaths, and you guys cool down. Go ahead. Arm check across the chest. Great work. Big deep breaths. Remember, be a good drink of water after this. If you can, try to get some, some carbs and protein back into your system, help give your body some energy to rebuild and repower. Switch arms. And hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Especially as you get ready to compete, it's usually a good goal to pre-hydrate before you get there, you really, especially in the sport of fencing. Brain is mostly water. It's a very cerebral sport. And you're back. 
out of reach. We really want to make sure we're making smart decisions as well as making sure our body can fire and do the things we tell it to do. Last thing you want to do is have all the skill and then the fitness, your body starts giving up on you in the round of 16, in the round of eight, instead of making it all the way past the gold medal bout before you go past your limit. So part of being an athlete is being fit and being able to maintain your strength all the way to the end. Switch it up, nice and slow. Do your best. Plant your hand behind your back. If you can't, just try to reach, hold that. Once you have a good spot, deep breath. Breathe through it. Hopefully at this point, you can already feel your heart rate coming back down. You gotta take a knee. You can feel a lot of that pain in your chest start to come back down. It's a good sign. Hand on the mat, stretching forward with those forearms. Remember again, this is not a once a week thing. You're really pushing your cardio, especially if you can't get into the gym for whatever reason, homework, family, whatever the reason. Try to do something on those other days, to maintain your fitness so that when you can't get back in the gym, you're ready to go, you're ready to give it your best. You're not gonna have any injuries. Switch it up. These cardio trainings are really meant to push your body, but they're only as good as you do them on a regular basis. So really try to make sure you're, you're pushing yourself. Try to get your at least three days a week, maybe even one on the weekend. And remember to mix it up. It's important to use them over and over again to see if you can improve your times, push yourself to the higher levels. But then it's also good to have some variety, mix them up from time to time. Use some of the other workouts we have on on our archives, so remember to subscribe, like the page, you'll get updates as we make new content. And then remember that we have home drilling videos, great footwork exercises extended, which also have a lot of cardiovascular elements in them, stretching, the whole gambit. All right, rotate those wrists. Thanks for joining us on our 50 by our five by 50 by five challenge on your cardio. Excited to get some feedback from you. Make sure you like and subscribe, provide us comments or jump in on any of our live uh, Zoom calls to provide us some feedback so we can continue to produce great content for you to keep you fit. Thanks for joining.